So I imagine this is around the time you met Lucas, who also right. had a reporting program. Yeah, so there was a, there was a, a bit of healthy healthy competition there, I'd say. <laughs> so um, I finished my degree in 2007, 2008, and started a job at um, AXA, mm -hmm. so finance company now now AMP. And uh, I was sitting there at lunch, um, and we had this this kind of pretty large team. But I got sat next to this young guy, and I was we were just chatting. And some mention of schools came up, and um, he's like, "Oh, I work in schools." And I think my eyes narrowed, and I'm like, <laughs> "This is competition. Yeah. Like, <laughs> schools, schools are my space. What's, what, who's, who's this guy? How dare he?" Um, and we were chatting, and he's like, oh, "I built the, I built this reporting system, or I, I look after this reporting system." at um, another public school it wasn't too far away from the school I went to and I was like ah oh, okay like this this seems odd and then he's like yeah I graduated in 2004 and like, I graduated in 2004 he's like I was school captain I'm like oh I wasn't school captain I'm like this is this isn't good where's this going and then um, I think we had a chat and we're like oh maybe we should maybe we should continue this discussion see if there's something we can we can do together so I think we kind of, we thought we'll throw our hat in the ring and build an attendance package. Yeah. And back then our knowledge of attendance was, was pretty average. We thought kind of, you go to class, you don't go to class. It's a yes, it's a no. Yeah. And I think what, what evolved was, um, and I think to this day, we would have one of the most uh, complex uh, capabilities in terms of attendance from yeah. how do you have a student that's going to an instrumental music class that goes for half the time of a normal period? How do we represent that? And how do we have this concept of layers, which we actually built in 2009, which handle things from events through to instrumental music, through to specialist classes on top of say, a complex timetable that could exist within a, a secondary school. I, I should clarify, Lucas was school captain and a far better coder than me. I think <laughs> I think I don't think Compass would exist or <laughs> maybe the name would exist, but yeah. it wouldn't um, be in such a robust robust state or kind of the strong technical product it is without without his technical guidance. Absolutely. I mean you had one of the first working from home setups where you and Lucas would be living or working from Lucas's parents' house, is that right? Working from his home. Yeah, from a bit different. Not, 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 the, not the new working from home, working from his home. So that was, yeah, that was interesting. So he, um, he, his parents were kind enough to let us um, take over their, their pretty large yeah. lounge room. So it wasn't a garage story. I, I don't think we would have done well with like a concrete floor or anything like that. We needed, <laughs> we needed a little bit of luxury. So we had carpet when we started this, but um, it, was, it was pretty good. We, we were there for about, a year it started to get pretty hot I know we had to get like portable air conditioners because we had too many computers in this lounge room yeah um, but no it was it was fun I think lots of uh, kind of canned tomato soup I think that was <laughs> that was the go-to meal tomato soup diets so Absolutely. there's a, a few things I remember from the start of compass one is tomato soup eating lots of tomato soup and kind of late night McDonald's runs and the other is um, Owl City which is this music we just had on repeat oh. so it's like the Firefly? Uh, Firefly was the one that um, I think kicked it to Firefly. Yeah, Fireflies. Yeah. So we had the whole album just on yeah. repeat. So I think if you ever want to stress Lucas out, just start playing that That's and um, bring back good memories, I'm sure. 